Hello, Dante, also known as Sword 40 or Sword 40 for short, which I've been credited as for like other projects. Oh yeah. Um, to end this year off, 2021 was like, um, I don't know what type of year, it was, it was kind of like going back and forth, but one, some big moments I could just remember from there is being cast on a bunch of stuff, but also getting my first IMDb credit, but probably the first, but probably another thing, um, that I can show you is that I have chatted with a bunch of voice actors that, um, I felt lucky to meet. It was all done at a virtual call at uh, GalaxyCon. I didn't want to post like every single video individually, so I decided to compile the um, the highlights of each chat in one video. And so here it is to end the year off. Here's me chatting with big voice actors out there. Enjoy. Dante. Hello. Is, is this the Dante? Hello, Dante. Hello, how's it going, Jim? Hey man, it's good to see you today. Oh good, they want us to take a photo first. Are you oh, ready? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I, I got it. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet with you with your arm around Piplup. <laughs> I, I got that Piplup plush like years ago. It looks brand new. Where in the world are you right now? I'm here up here in Canada. Some people in the world think it's um, some imaginary place in North America. <laughs> because it sounds so magical and fantastical, I'm sure. I love your shirt. You're looking good. Thanks, I got a Pokemon shirt with me. Not only that, I, know. I got the Pikachu I just showed. And yes. That's Ampharos. Ooh. And, yeah. And you I have also, it all. And I also got Piplup. Not, wow, that's gigantic. I have this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't have any uh, Beastars merch or even like a Beastars shirt. This is the closest wolf thing I got to a picture of a Digimon. Yeah, it looks great. You look fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Purple's my favorite color, so that's good. It's my second favorite. My favorite's actually green, but uh, I used a lot of purple this year. I quite like your t-shirt. Thanks. Uh, I actually got a lot of Pokemon shirts. I have uh, the Gallery Starters on here, and when I got a shield, I, I chose Grookey, and um, I'm on Team Grookey, or the internet calls Grookey Gang. Nice. Very cool. I love Grookey. Yeah. So <laughs> I think all Pokemon are cute. They're all cute. Even yeah. scary ones. Yeah, even Onyx and... Yeah. Yeah. Adorable. I was uh, originally gonna come to the, uh, the the Dark and Duck panel that was like uh, a few months ago, but I, I couldn't make it last time. Oh, well, I'm glad you made it. I've yeah. got on my Let's Get Dangerous shirt, if that helps. The second time he meets uh, Gohan, uh, the, the line where he just forgot his name, he just said, Panda! That yeah. <laughs> I'm right there. He's so good. That was my follow notification on Twitch. So if anybody followed, it would just go, Panda, let's get dangerous. My daddy liked to kill himself when he found out I was a mutant. You look about as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. They used an ad lib of mine in uh, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, he didn't say anything, but he went. <laughs> when I, if you win a race as Bowser, sometimes he'll do that. I had no idea that they were going to use it. And so they did, and I thought it was hilarious. I've been a Pokemon fan for like, uh, it's been like 15 years, actually. Wow. I'm going to show you my Lego Lego sheet. His nose fell off yesterday. Oh, that sucks. But that's okay. I can just get it back on. That's him. Hello. It's a Lego Lego sheet. I'm going to go put him back. And I have a bunch of plushies that like some of them I bought myself and some of them fans bought me and some of them I got at conventions and stuff. This one, I think a fan sent me and uh, I think a fan sent me Sylveon too. I had a few pl plushies like um, right beside me, but I have uh, Lugia with me as well. Oh, and, yes. And uh, Piplup as well. It's a big one. Oh, that's a good big one. Oh, you know, I only played Pip a Piplup in Dungeon... Oh, oh yeah. I remember you were uh, Piplup in uh, Mystery Dungeon. Uh, yes. Special. Last week, I just um, watched a Goofy movie for the first time, and I never see it before. Oh. Yeah. How'd you, what'd you think? Um, I enjoyed it, and um, I actually got emotional during that scene where, uh, much later on, where Goofy and uh, Max kind of like, um, and they sang that they had song. had their little bonding moment, right? I started watching the Pokemon anime um, back when you were Ash. The first season I watched was actually Johto Journeys. Oh, wow. 
jumping right in. Your voice of Ash was, was my childhood though. Oh, thank you. I feel like it was mine too in a weird way. I mean, he that voice is just so energetic and fun. It was so great to do. Voicing Ash Ketchum for like almost 15 years. I think it's almost, I think it's about 15 years by now. No time has passed at all. I still remember like being nervous in the very beginning. And I can't believe it's been 15 years. It's absolutely crazy. That scene where um, Ariel was talking to um, her father about, um, um. Uh, I just forgot his name. <laughs> about Eric? Yeah, I felt like I was part of that scene by the first time I saw it. And the first time I've seen the movie, I was about like probably like, four or five years old. Is that the scene where he's destroying everything in her grotto? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful scene, isn't it? It's yeah. beautifully animated. It does make you feel like you are in the scene with them. Daddy, I love him! If this is the only way, so be it. You know, I had to get very, very upset in that scene and I cried a lot. Uh, and those are all real tears. So <laughs> it's it's a pretty, pretty powerful scene. You brought that scene to life and, it, and that was, what you did was amazing. Well, thank you. That's that's all because of Howard and, and our wonderful director. I just watched a few episodes of the new He-Man cartoon on Netflix. Yeah, and? Yeah, and you did so well as uh, He-Man, Adam. Thank you. I, it's one of those ones where I was just so proud to to step into those shoes and to to lift that sword. Although I, I was super nervous, like that, I was gonna say the first time I had to say, I have the power, you know, like I could barely get it out because I was so nervous to say it. Probably the first few times I had to say it, but so happy, so happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, I'm actually just learning from voice acting. So there's like a lot of um, iconic lines that um, I even get nervous about when I um, try to rehearse it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's because I can tell you're you're a fellow nerd like me. Like there's there's a weight to that. Like we don't want to you know let the the franchise down or the character down. There's like so much, there's so much there to to uphold. So I, I, I totally understand. I search up and um, I I was um like speechless by your amazing performance in um in Cats as oh. uh, Lord Deuteronomy. I mean, as uh, oh, uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Old Deuteronomy. Yeah, thank you. I first discovered um. X Men by actually playing uh, X Men versus Street Fighter, right. and I first heard your voice as uh, Rogue in that game. That's a great. That's a fun game. Yeah, I, I enjoyed doing that. Voice Bowser since two thousand five. I mean, how's it feel voicing voicing Mario's arch nemesis for since that time? Yeah, it's almost seventeen years. Um, it's been fantastic. You know, I, I didn't I didn't think about it much for a very long time. It's amazing that you voice. Uh, all these Pokemon in the Pokemon anime. Like, yeah, it's fun. PB, um, and uh, I think he also was uh, Frostlass. Yeah, Frostlass. Frostlass is cool looking. The Frostlass! Frostlass! And Frostlass doesn't show up that much, you know? What made you uh, come up with uh, Legoshi's voice? It sounds kind of close to your voice. I leaned into a lot of, uh, he's fairly, he's a very large creature. So he had to have a relatively deep voice for his age, and he's 17 to 18, um, which is honestly the youngest character I've ever played, but he has one of the deepest voices that I use. He kind of falls into his own by the end of the first season. You can hear what Lego she's going to probably sound like for the rest of the show at the end of season one. Um, but it was really me less trying to find a voice, more trying to find a personality because that was what makes Legoshi Legoshi. It's it's less his character voice and more like what the emotions are coming out. One of the best moments I heard your voice as Ash was um, one of those Ash Greninja moments back in like X and Y. Yeah. And um, also that final moment when he went against uh, Kikui with mm. the, one of the Island Gardens, that was just awesome. Yes. That was my favorite series to voice. So dramatic. What are you gonna do for Halloween? Well, I'm not going to do much for Halloween, but probably watch a few movies. I'm, I'm probably going to watch uh, Nightmare Before Christmas uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, great, great. That's all that matters. After binge watching um, V-Stars during like quarantine, I just thought um, the female wolf, what's her name again? Oh, Juno. Oh yeah, I just I just thought they should be together after after watching. Like it makes sense, right? It makes sense. You'll get plenty of. Uh, I don't know if you've seen season two, but there's there's some other stuff in there that that deals with them. I saw this one moment from the show 
where um Dark conducted like one of those um one of his like dramatic um entrances, but he gets interrupted by um Launchpad <laughs> during one time where uh Oh yeah. <laughs> he does like a shadow bird. <laughs> and that part just made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it, it still makes me laugh so hard today. I am the terror that flaps in the night. Launchpad, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a birdie. Want to see my doggy? Off, off. <laughs> Launchpad! Sorry, DW. Yeah, we did a lot of ad living. Yeah, and it was interesting because Launchpad and I, you know, we were never in the studio together, Terry McGovern and I. We were never in the studio recording together at the same time. First time this, uh, I mean, your voice uh, caught me, uh, my attention was um, Ash was uh, calming Shimtar down after he went crazy for with the ability blaze. Yeah. Stop, Shimtar! It's over! Over! Ah! Ah! Shimtar, stop! That's when you first were like, oh, who is that? Yeah. That's so cool. That was amazing, by the way. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Um, I think I heard that you were also in uh, Dragon Ball Super as well. Yeah, Ribrian, Brian, Ribrian, and also um, Barry Blue. It took me a while to notice that you uh, voiced Bowser before Super Mario Galaxy. Like uh, yeah, there was the first game that I had that I recorded for was Super Mario Strikers on the GameCube. So yeah, just a little bit before Galaxy. Uh, the uh, recording session that I did for Galaxy, uh, I did Galaxy and Mario Kart Wii in the same recording session. What's your uh, favorite Pokemon? I, uh, I think I remember you said, I think it was Pikachu. I mean, yeah, it is Pikachu, but I also love Meltan and Mew. Oh yeah, Meltan. My favorite Pokemon is uh, uh, Gengar, and uh, Ash has that as well. But another favorite Pokemon of mine is Incineroar, and Ash also has that. Love Incineroar. Yeah, he's Very awesome. Fun. Yeah. Um, I'm having a cinema plus, but I have I have Litton. Oh, buddy! Our director plays the voice of Litton. Yeah. I first watched Nightmare Before Christmas back in my the middle years of of well, back when I was in high school actually, because I never saw it as a kid. Uh -huh. Then I saw it years later, and um, tomorrow might be my my third time watching it since. Uh, and um, then I'll see your performances with Boogie Boogie once again. Oh, good. Well, enjoy it when you watch it. Sing along with me. <laughs> it's uh, today that uh, Disney Plus just announced um, um, a new X-Men yes. series that's following after the 1992 series. I know. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm so excited. And um, I was surprised that the original X-Men was going to appear on Disney Plus as well. Yes. Well, they bought uh, they bought Marvel, right? The character of Dr. Nash is one of the coolest characters ever I've seen. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you like him. He's kind of a Monty Python character, almost. I will show those sons of hamsters what happens when they put a reward on Don Carnage. I was really, really, really... He was. He's one of my all-time favorite characters. He's in my top six or seven characters, for sure. One of my favorite villains on uh, in the uh, Disney Afternoon universe. Good. I like how there's like a lot of characters he voice that, um, that um, are like the young protagonist that, that holds a sword with them. Yeah, it's it's true. I th I do have like a type, if you will, um, and and you know I, I could be I could be angry about that, or I could just be you know completely grateful. And I, I think I, I land on the grateful side there. I think you do like super amazing at it. Thank you, thank I mean, you. I mean, you start off with the Prince of Persia, and, and um, then and now you're He Man, and yeah. also um a few years ago uh, you were also um the main character in uh of the Dragon Quest uh, your story. Yes, yes, which I loved. That show was so, or that movie was so much better than it had any right being. I and I was just I was super excited at the way it turned out. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm I'm a Dragon Quest fan, so yes. The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite movies of all time, next to Aladdin and the Jungle Book. One question I have is, um, I think I remember hearing that um, you were once um originally offered the voice of Belle from Beauty and the Beast once. Well, <laughs> well, actually, I was invited to audition for Belle. And I did get, uh, I did have my first audition and I think I had my second audition. And then Howard Ashman called me and he said, well, they just really wanted you to come in and audition. I said, well, that's fine. I, you know, wasn't expecting to get it. Um, but then after my, I think it was my second audition that Howard called and said, you know, we're, we're going, we're going with Paige, who's a dear friend of mine, and I had known her for years before, and I was thrilled, but I told him, I said, I knew, you know, you can't have the same person be two princesses. I knew that that would, 
wouldn't work. Um, but it was really sweet for them to, to let me come in. And of course, I'm beyond thrilled that my friend Paige is Belle, and she's absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, so we've had our friendship now for you know over 40 years, I think it's been. Thank you so much, Dante, for, for hanging out with me and spending part of your evening together. I, I, I can't wait to possibly see you in person at some point. It was, it was good to meet you. You're one of my best inspirations for voice acting. Well, thank you. I, I hope then that if that's something you really want to do, I hope we get a chance to work together someday. I hope so. Thank you so much for calling me today. I really appreciate that, Dante. Take care. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye. We're counting down. Goodbye. Thank you so very much. Very Have well. a happy new year.